to me has grown. For me to look deep in my mind, ooh, sorry, okay. For me, um, to look, for me to look deep in my, mm -hmm. oh God, okay, okay. For as long as I've known, this passion in me has grown. For me to look, for me to go deep and look in my inner thoughts, I've written this book. So good morning, hello class. Um, my name is Morgan Hunter, and um, for my cultural artifacts, uh, I have brought my poetry book. And here I've written over 30 poems, um, and I am credible to speak because I've been writing since I was in elementary school. I kid you not. Um, so it's grown over the years. I can see my changes from when I was. Well, to me now at 18. Um, by the end of my speech, you will have learned um, a little more of about the simplicity of writing and how I identify with this culture. In my speech, I'll be talking about my cultural artifact and how my um, and how this book relates to the culture of writing poetry. Now that I have uh, presented the artifacts, I will now talk about what the culture is. Now, it's not hard to get into. Um, it's all about sitting there thinking about whatever's on your mind and writing it down on paper. Um, what a certain flow to it, you know, it's just not words that you write. You're not writing a book. Um, but there's, you know, there's more than one way to write it. There's like traditional, um, like, you know, roses are red, violets are blue. Um, or like Shakespeare writing, like, shall I compare this to a summer's day? But there's also non-traditional, like, songs. Um, I'm sure everyone has heard a song that they could say, oh, you know, that's sweet, it's like poetry, or even rapping. I've heard a couple of rap songs that, um, you know, that rhyme, even though they may not make sense. Um, now, my object, it relates to the culture because Regardless if you're writing traditional or non-traditional, you want to write it down. You want to keep um, keepsake of what you write. So um, yeah, so it's good. So if you do write, you should keep a book. Here I have talked about the culture of poetry and how my object relates to to the culture. Now I will talk about how I identify with. Now, I continue to be a part of writing culture because I write poems continuously. I haven't written in a while because of school um, and whatever else may come in the way, but what I do, I just let my mind speak. Um, I also read a lot, and my favorite author, Ellen Hopkins, a lot of her books are written in poetry form, which is nice, so you guys should look into that. Um, personally, I relate to my object because it's personal to me. Um, I put a lot of time and effort into it, and it's like a personal keepsake of mine that I like to keep. Okay. Um, speaking on how I like how I relate to this culture is and its significance to me, I will now conclude my speech. Um, today, um, I've talked about um, how it's so simple to write um, poems. It, um, my object and how it relates to my culture and the book's significance to me. Okay. Now that I have presented this cultural artifact, you see, maybe you'll know a little bit more about me. 